So, how did we do in 2017? Did we achieve our strategic objectives? As you may recall, over the last four years, our big three strategic plan has been the following. One, to dump our debt. Two, to grow 10%. And three, to execute every day. I'm here to tell you that over the last four years, we have knocked these objectives out of the park in the culmination of our performance in 2017. Our first objective to dump our debt. In November of 2016, we became debt-free as a business owing nothing to anyone except love and building cash in the bank over the past year, ending with cash in the bank at the end of 2017. Two, we have grown our sales to record sales level every year over the last three years and achieved double-digit sales growth in 2017. Objective achieved. And third, Execute every day as a company. We have grown in our execution in phenomenal ways over the past four years and have achieved such uh, objectives and large projects as acquiring a major competitor, implementing a new prize ERP system, bringing online a new BobBarker.com uh, e-commerce system, rolling out a nationwide field sales force, and building out a 50,000 square foot warehouse distribution center expansion in Fuquay, North Carolina, just to name a few key objectives over those four years. So I believe that we have achieved our strategic plans and we are on a great path for the future of Bob Barker Company. Now I want to break down some of the specific performances of 2017 as it relates to that sales growth that I was talking about earlier. So first up is the sales level achieved. We billed and invoiced over $127 million in revenue in 2017, which represents a 9.2% growth rate over 2016's invoicing. What you may not know and may not be aware of is that we actually took orders from customers of over $128.7 million in revenue in 2017, or $12.6 million in growth over 2016 which is a 10.9% growth rate, meeting our key objective of double-digit revenue growth. Now, in 8 out of 12 months of 2017, we had record revenue levels that we'd never achieved in those individual months before. Not only that, in 4 out of the 4 quarters of 2017, we had record revenue in each of the 4 quarters, and we achieved our revenue goals in every one of the four quarters in 2017. Now, we also, by business unit, had tremendous success in 2017. And let me break that down for you. In North Carolina, we had over 4% revenue growth, where we achieved $60.8 million in revenue in 2017. Out in Utah, we had over 8% revenue growth and reached $34.4 million in revenue. In our vinyl manufacturing area, we grew the business over a million dollars to over $10 million in 2017 uh, and finished the year at $10.8 million in revenue or 11% growth. Now, drop shipments grew a whopping 31% in 2017 to $21.2 million. And finally, our officers only business unit grew 76% to $5.7 million in 2017. Now, our kitting operation grew 6% over this past year. Our screening operation grew 17% in the past year. And our embroidery operation grew 40% over the past year. Now, that's not all, folks. From a customer class and geographic perspective, our private management team grew 4.5% over the past year. Our central region of the country grew over 8% in the past year. The South grew double digits at over 10.4% in 2017. The North region grew double digits at over 12% in 2017. The West region grew double digits at nearly 15% in 2017. And 16 of our account managers grew their territories double digits in 2017. Now, why do I share all these records with you guys? It's to demonstrate to you that this growth is sustainable. It didn't happen in just with just one customer. It didn't happen in just one region. It didn't happen in just one month or one quarter or one product class or one business unit of the company. We had sustainable and massive growth throughout the company that pretends very well for the future growth of the business and that I'm very excited about. 
None of this growth could have happened without each and every one of you that are watching this video now and your hard work to make this happen. So I just want to thank you all from the bottom of my heart for a tremendous 2017 and all your hard work that went into making it a possibility. Now this is a major milestone for Bob Barker Company, really unlike any other of the past. So we're going to celebrate this major milestone in a way that we have not celebrated before as a company. We're going to bring all of our team members of Bob Barker Company together at one time in one place in February 7th in Greensboro, North Carolina. We're going to fly in our entire field sales force organization. We're going to bring everyone from Fuquay to Greensboro, and we're going to fly all of our team members from Ogden, Utah in together in Greensboro to celebrate the accomplishment of this strategic plan together. We're hoping that it's going to be an event that you will not soon forget and that we'll all have an opportunity to celebrate our success together. And don't worry, this is an event that is paid for compliments of the Barker family and will have no negative impacts on get paids or other financial metrics within the business. We just want it to be a celebration and a thank you for everyone for all of their hard work. Now, I just want to conclude by saying that we have exciting plans in store for 2018, including bringing all of our Fuquay-based team members together on one campus at Purfoy Road and unveiling to you the strategic plan for the coming three years of Bob Barker Company that have tremendous plans for growth for both the company and its team members in the coming years. And I look forward to sharing those plans in the coming few weeks. Once again, thank you from the bottom of my heart for all that you do here at the Bob Barker Company and for laboring with me to transform criminal justice while honoring God in all that we do. Thank you.